Next, we will talk about data monitoring for the Logic Apps. In the data monitoring section, we now have a new tab, Logic Apps. Let us look at an existing alarm. So we select from the drop down a data monitoring alarm, and then we give a friendly monitor name. We need to provide an Azure subscription. These can be set up in the settings page. Once you select your Azure subscription, then you should get a drop down of all the Logic Apps available. Mainly, data monitoring for Logic Apps requires us to monitor the various metrics available for that specific Logic App. As you can see, we have a number of options available to us. There are two types of metrics that can be monitored, either in millisecond or in count. Let me just give you a quick preview of how they would look if we would segregate them. So as we can see, they can be categorized into two categories, those with count and those with time millisecond. So now the rest of the screens are pretty much similar to a data monitoring screen. You can check out the warning threshold and error threshold, and you can also set the monitoring times, whether you wish it to be daily, weekly, or monthly. You can also set up at what time you wish the monitoring to occur. I have now set it up for every 15 minutes. In the advanced panel, we have when do you wish to start and stop monitoring, and you can also check it based on either the timestamp or if you're not interested in a date time filter. So that was it for a simple Logic App data monitoring alarm. Now let's have a look at how the data monitoring dashboard looks. So this is the alarm I set up earlier. The data monitoring dashboard will display the status of a specific fault code in the application in a graphical manner. This is the part where you can see every 15 minutes it has been checking. If we click on one of the statuses, you can see the overall status is the success, the warning threshold and the error threshold. You can also see information such as the subscription name, the logic app name and the metric that we are actually monitoring. It also tells you what was the start time and end time, thus identifying the 15 minutes that it was monitoring. The rest of the data monitoring dashboard is quite similar to what you already have in the data monitoring. So thus we saw how simple it was to monitor a logic app.